I'm going straight yes, to the mic. Man. What's going I'm on? I'm going baby? straight to the mic. I'm, I'm going straight to the mic. You I'm glad it? I made it. Yes, you done waited. And we finna get activated. Yes, and these sir. niggas gonna hate it. Young Holly Two Flyly, aka the Flyway, aka Fly Guy, aka Albert Flyenstein. All that, man. We here. We finna get activated, yeah, man. Get Boss talk it. one on one, man. <laughs> and we finna have a one on one. And it's finna go down. Yes, sir. What's happening, man? What's up with it? It's all good. Miss Jamaica, oh, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I got my people oh. with me. She gonna keep me, she gonna keep me right. My oh. assistant, man, Miss yeah, Janice, man. She the dope. Yeah, yeah, we, we gonna on. talk, we gonna have fun. Yeah. yeah. We be on fire, we be lit lit. Yeah. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit? Big shit? Big shit. Huh. It's Who a put that together? Hustle, nigga, big what? shit. Big shit. Big Am shit. I not supposed to be shit. talking through this boy? Name another podcast okay. like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dad. Man, hold up, man. This boy done pulled up on me, man. Yeah, man. Say, man, every time I look at the internet, man, it's a trip, man. This nigga here give me something to look at. Yeah, Most man. of these niggas boring. Hey, man. Most of these niggas boring, but hey, this nigga, man. hey, man, this nigga even. Man, I hate man. tooting my own horn. Keep going. Man, the boy <laughs> looked so fly. Man. I understand why he hollered too fly. Man, I take it seriously. <laughs> Holler at your boy, man. I take it seriously. What's man. going it's on? The flyway. It's all going on. I'm going on, it's definitely going on. Man, them <laughs> colors, man. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm all about the colors, you know what I'm saying? We living in the times of the internet, man. And, Bruh. You know, people want to see it. It got to be right and it got to be bright, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, because, every time hey, I man, see everything you. everything is a ride for some reason. It just come out like that. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't miss, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, I look no, I'm at the definitely outfits. not missing. I look at the way that you carry yourself, man. The brand, man, is something yeah. to be spoke on, man. Yeah, so man. thank you for coming on Boss Talk 101. I appreciate what you for letting me pull talk. up, man. I appreciate you for having me, man. Man, yeah. and I know already Mr. Make about to go down through that with you, man. What's yeah. going on? On, yeah, because you yeah. so fly. I'm trying to figure out if you've <laughs> always been like this ever since you was uh, coming up. I got to find out a lot about you now. Come okay, we're going to make sure I need to touch on that right now. Right now. Gonna, okay. Right now. Okay. Tell me about, um, was your mama, daddy fly? Nah. Uh, Where did you get nah, it from? Um, Pretty much the shit I, I mean, oh, I'm, my bad, I'm cursing the <laughs> shit. But um, the stuff that I was influenced by, I think, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't we didn't really have a lot to get fly, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they we couldn't afford a lot of shit, but majority of the stuff, you know, I made what I wanted, you know what I'm saying? I made mm -hmm. the kicks, I made the, um, the outfits, and I was always different, you know what I'm saying? In school, I always, you know, young age, I always put stuff together. I always knew I had some kind of style, some, like some kind of... Um, you know, when 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 I got to the point where I can um, you Any know, teenager or before? No, nah, it was before the teenage wow. age when I knew when I knew I had the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was always I had the chicks at the school and from elementary. <laughs> you know, I, mean? I, I already knew. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, I I was at a young age, probably uh third, second, third uh -huh. grade. I had my hand in somebody's pants at a young age, wow. so I knew I had some kind of sauce. You did. She's supposed to be there for learning, but we was there for earning. You did. <laughs> <laughs> so Check I knew it, was man. something going on. But nah, so you, you know, have brothers and sisters. Yeah, I got brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? I got one sister and I got three brothers. Who's I mean, older? Yeah, I'm the oldest. You the oldest. Yes, so you said a trend. Uh, kind of nobody really, you know, nobody, nobody really came followed, like, oh, okay. followed my, you know, I was that nigga that they said, this nigga don't want to work. He don't want to do nothing. He don't want to, but Pretty I boy. was the work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I am the work. I had, you know, I didn't do, I wasn't good with the nine to five job. I got fired from every job I had. I knew I was talented with getting fired. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know. So they didn't really follow my, my what you know what I did. Were you raised with your mom and dad in the house? No, nah, I was raised my mama. You know, was just with mom. You know, my daddy. Um, where he was wasn't daddy? A, uh, <laughs> where was Waldo? <laughs> you know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it's still love, though. You did what did I'm saying. Did you know him? Uh, we know each other. We didn't pass each other. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you know, but we didn't. We just never got down through that. Like I wish we could. Who I am today? You know, he probably don't know who I am today. You feel what I'm saying? They know my name, but they don't know me. You dig? I have to reintroduce me to me. So did you, you know have a male figure in your life growing up or no? Uh, 
you know, uncles and shit like so, that. You okay, know what so I'm you did have somebody step oh, up to be oh, that. Oh, oh, male most, figure. most definitely. We had them around, and, and you know, people from the neighborhood that kept a G with us, you know what I'm saying? So we had males. We had males around. We because had male I always figures. feel that, you know, um, a woman can't raise a man to be a man. You need to always have a male figure that's going to also show a man how to be a man. And my, um, well, yeah, I, I, I believe, I believe that. I believe they can show it, take care of a kid, you know what I'm saying? But it got to be some, some, you know, we react to men different than exactly. we act to, react to women, you know exactly. what I'm saying? So, so yeah, hey, but let me say this. I, I know this is some fucking up the road, but check this out. Man, I'm proud to see what y'all got going on here. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man. Come on, and, man. And, and 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 you cold as shit with these questions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, she you, always man, you. I'm you watch the show, man. You know I'm already was about to go like down. Therapy, man. No, I'm be crying here. I'm gonna walk out. <laughs> you got on the glasses. It's gonna happen. Yeah, no, man. The, the, hey, the, man. The thing, oh, the, yeah. The you thing see, we try to. Yeah, I, yeah, it's man, live. Man. We, we be trying to figure it out. It's all right. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, but, yeah, you know the, the thing that we try to do is uh, and make everything relatable, right? Yeah. To the people who might be watching that may want to be fly, that don't know how you got to this flyness. Yeah. So a lot of times you have to go through that background just to understand, like, man, this nigga he he started off like and this, but he ended up from, like this. Right, that's and, possible. And there's a lot of kids out there that may have came up without a father, right? Or, or, or like me, you know, in a home where they fighting like hell. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. Look at us now. I totally get because it. So that's the whole game. Because you know how many kids are, even adults are stuck to their phones watching YouTube right now. Yeah. And the case is that people are going through situations on a daily basis, traumatic situations. That's something that you might have already been through and overcame. Anybody who's sitting in that seat might have been through, overcame. And because they tell their story and show that there's light at the end of all that trauma. Oh, yeah, for that sure. That person who is watching can be for like, sure. you know what? For let me sure. do this or let me go find help here or let me you know what I mean and come out of where they're at originally yeah. you from Shreveport now nah, I'm originally from Nagadish Nagadish Louisiana that's like town. 45, mi 45 yes, minutes out yes, from indeed. Shreveport the city of lights you're gonna be able to get some good food some good meat pies you're gonna get some southern classic you're gonna mm. the same little town where the movie Steel Magnolias was shot yeah, at yeah. yeah that's where I'm from I like that man. Man. A small little country town small country you town you small small but it put that groove in us you what, what sticks of, out about that town when you when you think about hometown just coming up um Oh uh, shit, man. We uh, you know, man, it's a small town, so you know it, it, that bring a lot of small town mentality. You know what I'm saying? And we yeah. don't really see, we don't really see a lot. But even though I was there, my I was there, you know, physically, but my mind was always somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I always yeah. knew I wanted to see, you know, more than what's right here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And yeah. do more. So, but. But it definitely put on um, that groove in me. You know, when I say that groove, I mean, you know, that that I was, that family. We didn't have a lot, so but we had a big family. We had a close family too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of outside cooking and a lot of get-togethers and and that type of stuff. You know, and a lot of listening to that music that put that groove in you. I don't think you can get to a certain level of fly if you ain't got that there. What was in the you? first time that thing. you? You, you you took off and just flew from Natchitoches or flew from Shreveport or flew from Dallas and went somewhere and be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been there. Yeah, see, every nigga been there. They may not admit it, but it was a time yeah. when you just, ba man, I'm in New York. Man, I'm in Florida. And I'm, at, the, I'm at South Beach. You know, like, when was that first time for you? Um, let, me, let me explain it like this. I always, from my character, right, I always ended up in situations with people and you know that was able to take me to places when I had nothing in my pocket okay. but my but I was rich in character. character you feel what I'm saying and I brought that and I always brought value to any clique that I was with you did so that shit was unmatched so I ended up places and I would call home and say hey I'm here and I'm there and they like oh, this nigga but I was everywhere you feel what I'm saying so I knew I had a certain thing and that shit took me all around the world and still to this day taking me all around the world you know what I'm saying yeah, I so, get it I get you it you know man. I hope I explained it yeah you right, explained you know, it I, you know, just, I, I but know I, already when you got off that plane or wherever you went and you was ready to sauce it up it was a time when you hit that city yeah. and you were like oh I'm here yeah. okay yeah. it's time to turn up yeah, you know? yeah I'm, de I'm definitely so I was I was just like I said when I went at whatever I got there physically 
physically, but I was always there. Them, yeah. them places that I went, I always wanted to go. I always had it in here, and I always knew I was going. What's your favorite city that you visit? Because I see you uh, on your Instagram, and you be my everywhere, nigga. Earth is your turf. Uh, most most definitely, we got we got a definite touch on that because that's serious. <laughs> that's how I feel. Oh yeah. Um, my favorite city. Oh damn, man! I hate to say this, man. Yeah, my, nigga, give my, it my, up. My, my 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 worst city. Uh, no, <laughs> I know that city. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me. Yeah, I can name. Man, my worst my worst city. What I went to was Philly, man. Why? We went to Philly <laughs> a lot Why? of times because I think I had. Um, Fresh Prince and shit in my mind, you know, you know what I'm saying, and 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 I had Gilly and Wallow in mind, and you you know, so when I thought I stepped off the plane in Philly, I thought he was going, you know, but it's kind of old town, you know what I'm saying, and it, and it, and you know, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna exactly. be, but and 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 then the shit that we got to eat, I, I didn't get that. You know that flavor that you know. So now everywhere I go, I travel with a bottle of hot sauce and Tony Satchel <laughs> in my pocket. Yeah, I got this shit in the armrest right now. <laughs> it's a taste that you used to. That's the taste you're looking for. Oh yeah, most definitely. You're not used to. Most it. definitely. So most what's definitely. the place that you haven't been to that you have it on your bucket list that you have to go visit this place? Uh, uh, I, I want to um touch Dubai. You did. Mm. I want to. I want to. Uh, you know, ride them jet. I mean, them camels. Right? Yeah, I want, and I don't want to go. I don't want to sit on no humps, but I uh, <laughs> most definitely want to ride the um, uh, what it is, the four wheelers and shit uh -huh. through the sand, through the desert. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to touch Dubai. Wow. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, but you didn't say what's the best place. You said what's uh, the worst place. The best but you place, the best man. Place. I probably have to say, um, I don't think I got the best experience. But but I would probably have to say New York. You know what I'm saying? Why? I always wanted to. I always wanted to see New York. I I thought you know, just the way I operate. I thought once you touch New York, it felt like a certain level of success to me. You know, I just mm. needed to see that for me. The big apple. You know, I needed to see that. I needed to see Times Square. I needed to see that. You know what I'm saying? Majority of the people that I was inspired by was from New, New York. York. You know what I'm saying? At, at a young age, you so know, did you I was go a Brooklyn beast. And we Queens, hit Brooklyn. All of we that? hit New. Um, we hit Brooklyn. We hit Harlem. You know, some people that I was with just happened to be tied in with the homie Jimmy. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Jim Jones and mm -hmm. and, and you know. He, you know, scooted us around the city. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We scooted around with them, hit the studio with them, went to a lot of, fly, you know, some clothes. And just the way they dressed, they seemed like they always took the, the swag and the style more. Them you know layers. what I'm saying? So I was, yeah, mm -hmm. hey, it's something I like about that. So I wanted to see New York, you know? And That's cool. Yeah, New York. Was I like New York. I mean, um, uh, it, yeah, it's all it's all right. Yeah, you know? but when it's coming to Texas, nigga, I'm stumping and I'm getting clean as hell right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna be honest with you. My shoes got dirty when I was walking in Manhattan, nigga. I didn't like it. As far as my shoes, the yeah. whites I had on turned smutty brown. I didn't like that. The bottom of them got too damn we dirty. We visited. Too the, uh, you know what I'm saying? We went to the which one? You I went to the everywhere you would go. Really? Yeah, we went to the spot where. Uh, you know um, the Twin Towers. Yeah, you know, yeah, we with did the too. Zero, yeah. man, you know that was heavy. Mm -hmm. It that is, heavy. man. That and, and it's a different experience, and it seemed like you can feel it, man. I don't know if yeah. this shit makes sense, or no, I don't I do. know if I'm tripping. No. And, and you know, and just to a lot look of people around, lost their life out there, man. And just to look around and know somebody that's out here standing up and looking around, possibly kin to somebody who lost their life in there. You exactly. know, just just that, man. It was it was heavy though, but it was a beautiful experience. Yeah. Well, you say you're from um, Louisiana, but I don't hear that Louisiana accent anywhere. Man, Where I'm did it go? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm country shit, man. You, uh, <laughs> people trip. Yeah, man. I, I uh, no, nah, I still, I still got it. I think I hear it all the time. People uh -uh. say, "Man, you country, you sounding, you know, I can hear the Louisiana, you, you know." That's that animal, man. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, man. Uh, Where you originally from? Jamaica, you, Kingston, Jamaica. Okay. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. But the thing, I, I look at you, man, and, and being from the country, but you say earth is your turf going back that way, man. Just being one that everywhere you go becomes home. Yeah, because, man, I, uh, I, I step out on faith. You know what I'm saying? I can go anywhere and start over. I got the technique. I know what to do. You and and shit. I'ma talk. You ain't gonna out talk me. Period. And I'ma talk anywhere I go. I got a problem with going home at night knowing I possibly was sitting beside a millionaire and I didn't say nothing. I got a Man. problem with that. Sometimes I go in a restaurant. I see people talking and and shit. And they look like they got something you know that I need to have or I need to get. I need to get in. And I just say, hey, man, y'all look like y'all having a good conversation. You know, if they lead me into 
like the conversation is open, you know, I get in. If, if I feel it ain't my thing, then, you know, but yeah, I go anywhere and get down, start over, whatever it takes. I'm going to win. I'm going to so win by all means. How necessary. did you end up getting into apparel, man? Let's talk about that shortly. Uh, Man, uh, I was yeah, man, I was broke at one time, and I okay. couldn't afford to, um, you know. So I knew to be fly, man. You don't necessarily have to buy high price shit, you know. I mean, you can you can um, you know, go out here. The same, you can go out here and paint, man, and spill paint on your clothes, and you can say, man, damn, I got paint on my clothes, or you can say, damn. I got paint on my clothes. It's just that, you see what I'm saying? It's the same words, but it's a difference. And it's about how you rock it. And I just got into, you know, putting the styles together, you know, on the hat is fly and it's not, this ain't drip, this ain't swag, this ain't none of that. This is fly and it's, it's a difference. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It might but, not seem like it's but a when difference, you, but how it did is. You, how did you come up with the name? The Flyway, is that what it is? Yeah, that's the name of the, that's the, name of the clothing brand, you know? I mean, because there is no other way. You know what I'm saying? And the how long ago did you create is, it? Um, probably about, probably about uh, two years ago, I started some called a fly where I went to one of my homeboy video shoot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when the camera came across me, I did like this. You know what I'm saying? And they was like, "Man, do that again in the camera." And I ain't know what I was doing. So just the way they took into it, I knew it had to be something. So I came home. You know, set my camera up, put my hands like this, edit it, you know what I'm saying, on Photoshop, thought about a name, turned it into the flyway, used this as the logo, and from now, started putting gear together. Bought a heat press, bought everything I need to have, and she had turned it to the flyway, set up the website, set it up, promoted it, and started selling $150, $160 outfits, you did. Matter of fact, um, yeah, I had the homie Charleston on here. I seen one time he wore some of my outfits on, um, yeah. one of my outfits on, uh, Vlad TV and yeah. you know I had a lot of different people the homie Hollywood baby a lot of uh, celebrities had stepped down in my gear and you know helped me in a major way so I appreciate it yeah yeah man I mean you, you but the but at the end of the day I'm sorry I didn't mean to cut you off but you know it ain't do it wasn't necessarily no favor cause they got some some shit that was you know, wow. yeah, and I take it seriously, man. I, I try to create shit that you don't have to know how to dress. I try to create something that make you feel good, got that feel, and when you put it on, all you need is a pair of shoes to rock it, man. You mm -hmm. out there. You wow, know you know, um, I just say when I see the, the brand and the way that you get it designed, yeah. or you design it yourself, it's, yeah. it's a lot of times I'll see it coming off the shoulder. Yeah. Or I'll see it, you know, just different places where you decide to place it uh -huh. with a lot of nice yeah. color variations yeah. that make it stand out. So, yeah. man, man, that's a gem in itself yeah, for knowing how to design it. like that. I you know what I mean? I and, and to be able to see through the fact of, hey, man, not only am I going to start a, 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 a brand, but I'm going to organize it to where I can pretty much produce my own uh, uh, clothing uh, yeah. in a way to where I can market it the way I want to. Man, I did I mean, everything I by hand. I think that's, that's fly as hell. Yeah. That, that's a reason to call it the fly way. I did everything Because a lot of these hand. niggas looking for somebody else. I've seen so many guys come in, man, where you get that done at? I, can I go get it made over here and do this? But you decided to take it upon yourself to mass produce whatever you do on Most your definitely. own. And That's I did dope. it all by hand, piece by piece. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't had no manufacturer or nothing. Hey, manufacturer, what y'all have for me? I need it. You know what I'm saying? But I, yeah, yeah, but I and did it all by hand. And you still do everything by hand right Man, now? I do like everything. I'm, I do everything by hand. I do everything. I do everything with these. I create it all. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, he created. I made in his image. I create. Wow. That's and what I do. I was just about to ask you how important was God in, in, in your life and oh, how yeah, you design and develop. You all, we all come from that. You know what I'm saying? We don't. We all come from that. You know, my people had me, man, I played the drums, I sung in the choir and all that for the church. You know what I'm saying? Till I was up in age. We all, you know, come from that, you know, so... So, you know, it's a little bit different to me now. I, 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 you, you know, I, don't, I ain't claiming no certain religion, you know what I'm saying? This fly shit, my religion, you dig? But, but, you know, I'm most definitely rocking with the most high, you dig? I, I couldn't do what I do, you know? I, I start from ground zero, man. I step out on faith every day, you know what I'm saying? And I, I show, they put his word to exercise and shit. At some point, I wanted to challenge him. I wanted to challenge him to see was his word real. You feel what I'm saying? And he ain't never failed me, so yeah. I man, definitely rock with the most He said you wanted high. to challenge him. How did you challenge him? Meaning, you know, I don't, man, we don't went through a lot. And sometimes you get to a place where, 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 where you just ain't show no more, you know, and you got a lot of questions. You know what I'm saying? About, you know, so even, even when I came out here, when I came to the city, right? 
I started over with nothing. I came out here and slept wherever I could have a place. To, you know, I, I started over with nothing, and just you know, and it and it worked out. I'm so how old were you at that time when you? Oh, I just came, I just came here two and a half two and a half years. Well, okay. it's about to be three. This finna be my um third or fourth of July here. You dig? So I remember. You know, so it's finna be three years. So so wow. yeah. So yeah, I don't mean challenge him in in that way. I mean. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. He don't got no problem with that. You dig? So don't they are quick be quick to put the Lord and put God in a box? But he don't got no problem with that. You know, I am who I say I am, and I don't got no problem with you challenging that or questioning me. So with him, with all power, I'm sure he ain't got no problem with me asking no question. He is who he say he is. He ain't Man. got no problem with me. I and like you have it. a and you have a team that working with you right now, right? Yeah, I got a team that's working with me right now. You know. You know, I'm, I'm, and um, and you're building up. Right? Yeah, I'm building it. You you dig? Yeah, I'm I'm building the team. I'm trying to put the team together the right way. But at first, it was just me. You dig? So I had to. People don't really um, you know, you could tell people about your, you know, what you're doing, but I don't do that. I have to show what I'm doing, and the people who it attract, it'll attract the right people. I just believe in going. I don't got no plan. I don't. I ain't with all that. I just know to go. You know what I'm saying? But I need definitely got to have a team because I'm sloppy as shit when it comes to the paperwork. I'm about the creative shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah, I ain't. Yeah. That's what nah, that that's is. dope, man. <laughs> I mean, let me ask you, man. Like I seen you on a picture with uh, Gilly the Kid and uh, the other guy Wallow. Or uh -huh. Wallow. What was the? How did you meet those guys? And how was it meeting those guys? Uh, I met them through one of my partners, um, uh, Boss Man Brewster. You know what I'm saying? Me and him doing a lot of business together. We doing a lot of work together. And I was, you know, I've been behind, you know, helping him with his brand. You did what I'm saying? That's what I do. I, you know, create, you know, with people, helping them build a brand, and uh. We went out to uh, Philly. <laughs> okay. Went out to Philly. You did what I'm saying, and uh, you know, we was on his uh, you know, it was about him at the time when I and I just happened to be out there with him, and I end up, you know, like I say, man, who I am, and character to get me in rooms, and I I end up in the room, and and you know, and from there it was cool. So they, you they was actually good went dudes, on the set where they nah, do the nah, show. No, nah, no, nah, nah, we went to the house. Okay. Yeah, we went past the set. You know what I'm okay. saying? We went on the set to the house. Okay. You know what I'm I didn't saying? know, because I don't yeah. know how they record or oh, whatever. Oh, I, I dig it. Yeah, I dig it. So I was it, just so kind of yeah. asking. Like, like, I see that show. It's a dope show. Yeah, so we was um, at the crib. Yeah. Anytime I see brothers doing something, man, it's mm -hmm. something to be noted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, most so, definitely. So, man, uh, most just definitely. shout out to those guys. So, I yeah, just they seen was that trill, though. They was 100, and especially Gilly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Gilly, Gilly was 100? Yeah, he treated us first class. Dope, man. Dope, man. So So, what? I mean, you you actually... You actually should, could uh, see, could end up uh, doing your own show, actually. Uh, anything is possible with you. Oh, you're, man. You I talk a lot. Hey, the flyway. I, the flyway. <laughs> I, we never had that damn before. Hey, this shit. Yeah, nigga, hey, nigga, nigga, you man, brought that move, thing man, in. Let me move it, man. I'm scared yeah. of motherfuckers. Yeah, you are. Huh? Man, a nigga pull a gun on me, I talk shit. Nigga pull a bug on me, man, I'm gone. No. He on me. I don't know. Don't, don't let him be on me. He on me. And I'm nigga a country nigga. Hey, get back, man. I know you won't go this fly this, man. Get back, man. I actually am cool yeah. with him. Yeah. Yeah. I cut all that out. But nah. anyway, uh, man, just, um, you know, when you think about just where where you want to be in developing your brand, what's next for uh -huh. the brand, the fly away? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I just started this thing called um, Flyology University, right? And what Flyology University is, you know, we I help people, me and the team, we help people create, you know, if you just got an idea, you just got a vision, you want to know how to take it to the next level, you need that look, you know what I'm saying? I mean, whether it's just about the business or you, your image or whatever it is, you know, and, and they come to Flyology University. I sell different packages. You dig? Depends on how much stuff you need and, and what you need and how much of time you might need me for, whether it's two months, three months, six months, eight months, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to bring that sauce to it and I'm going to bring that magic to you, magic to your brand. Oh, I'm a creative genius when it comes to this and when it comes to this marketing and stuff I've been doing this I've been doing this man my whole I've been doing this forever man and it's I've been dope. helping clubs helping you know even churches man you know what I'm saying I got a guy that just came on you know what I'm saying his name Pastor Harris you know and helping him 
do things with his, you know, and he was in between getting a new church and they looking, you know, so I we shook the game and I told him, hey, man, all the time it ain't about the building. We don't even got to have no building. You dig? We can do, man, We like they do pop-up shops for gear and clothes and everything. We can do pop-up and praise. You dig? I'm I'm, get, I'm just showing you how ideas no, come. No, no. And we can take, you know what I'm saying, praise, you know, what they do. We take mm -hmm. it as, make it a pop-up shop. We just pop like up and get, you know no, what I'm saying? I like so, that. yeah, I love we it, just come actually. up with different ideas, help them put their thing together, man, and make it really go down for them. And, and in, in a small amount of time, they realize that, you know, I most definitely I bring the value. No, I, I definitely uh, know that that's something that, to be respected because I always did a ministry of worshiping God where you stand so it ain't pretty much nowhere that you can put a God that's omnipotent that we believe in and say he right here or he right there Yeah, because you can't even place him nowhere because you ain't that powerful I get it you feel me I, totally so I understand where you coming from and I love it because that's what I stand for Most you definitely. know so that's something that you need to be implementing they need you more than ever Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, everybody's sure. so comfortable sure. that they so comfortable they become religious and religious pretty much turns to a religious religion yeah. and actually you start doing things just on repetition instead of moving with the spirit but it, it, it goes deep oh, it's but all anyway good. man it's all good. check that. it man hey man listen man I appreciate you for coming on the show man how can people get a hold to you uh, make sure you hit me up on the gram and any other social media you know what I'm saying at Holly 2 Fly H-O-L-L-Y the number 2 and F-L Fly and we definitely gonna get activated man Let me gonna see a whole know. bunch of fly shit going three. on I want to ask top three brands of all time. Oh, that's dope. Top three brands yeah. of all Clothing time. Brands. Clothing, Clothing brands. brands. Uh, Number one. Oh, uh, I was in, you know, I kind of say what I was influenced by. Okay. Right. I was influenced by uh, Carl Kanai. Carl Kanai. Okay, that's number that's one. my boy. Shout um, out to Carl Kanai. I was influenced by, you know, Avery X. Okay, Avery X. You know, and. Um, number three. And. You know, I was influenced about, you know, Adidas, the um, you know, from the Run DMC yeah, era. Dope, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah, That's dope. what I was influenced by that stuff. You know, man, yeah, I like yeah, that, man. Yeah. Uh, I was influenced by some people too. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't just about clothing brand. I was influenced by people. I was influenced by, uh, yeah, man. I, <laughs> Go ahead. I was influenced by. Hey, you know what? This this is wild, right? Here, check this out. I was influenced by. I was even influenced by Beastie Boys, you dig? But I was most dead. Man, look, I came to this, I came to Dallas one time, right? Years ago. It was this guy. I was in, <laughs> I'm tripping. So I used to watch a lot of, um, for some, I used to steal my uncle tapes and we used to watch Pimps Up Holes Down. But I was, oh, yeah. in, you know, I was still young in school. So I, I guess I was influenced by that in a no, way too. No, and it was this guy named Pimpin' Ken on that, right? He been on and my, that. Yeah. And my name, you know, my name Ken. Ken you yeah. dig? So, so, man, I was influenced by that for some reason, you know, you know and, um, his style is yeah, like, yeah. I guess that what it was. was and, and, and you know what? So mm -hmm. I when I when we first got to the city, right? You know what I'm saying? Me and some partners went over to um, Big T's. Yeah, that's it. To you know, because I would hear Big T's, yeah. Big T's, but I want to know what it was, right? So we went over there, and man, I was coming, I was going down the aisle, and it was this nigga coming towards me with a suit on, right? It was my him. boy. It was Pimp and Ken. And check this out, check this out. I'm getting my shit together because I know once I'm. I'm about to pull up on him. I'm about to, you know, I need to get a picture with this. I, I, I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I was, and I'm trying to hold my composure. You dig what I'm saying? And by the time he stepped up to me and shook my hand, I fucking lost it. Lost my, <laughs> I lost my cool. I, I went in, cause I, man, all I could think about was them old, you yeah, know, yeah, them old boo, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And that nigga sold me a DVD, man, for it's, $20, it's man. What, they back and, there and, in the and, back. And you I know what? It. I was, shit, I was damn near home before I realized, man, I don't got no damn DVD player, <laughs> man. Whatever, but shit, I was so starstruck. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, yeah. And I was, man, you know what? So I, I'm speaking, I, I wanted to speak That's about dope. the, the, um, major people that I was influenced by, man, but I was influenced by locals. I was even influenced by, uh, uh, this cat I don't know him but I, I heard of him you know Big Chief he, he from here or something yeah, like been on yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was to even influenced time. by him I, I remember seeing him Dope. you know His I came I came to a Real uh, fly. Hurricane Chris video shoot right Hurricane Chris the Holly Bear with him and Boosie and man it was this nigga pulled up man nigga got his waves mm -hmm. spinning all the way around parting his head he hop out the car he hop out the Bentley it's per a coupe he got female I, I'm like 
man, who is this nigga? I know we was there for who we was there for, but I was I was like, you know, and I went back home, and that's that's when I really realized that you know a nigga can really have something, really can have. You know, I think. Boy, he I, gonna I, be, he, I, you know, know, he been on here and he about yeah. to come on here in a couple more weeks. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, he I, has some influence yeah, on me, real talk. I, I definitely can't wait to have. I got oh, him. Oh, no, but you let him know. Oh, you know yeah. What I'm saying? Like, oh, he going to see this. He watch Boss Talk yeah, and he be sure. on Boss Talk. So sure. it's for dope, sure. man, that for you sure. even show him because a lot of times those guys feel like they don't get they just. Nah, do. man, I ain't scared so to let nobody know that they influence me. That's dope. Or had some influence on me. And you dig? Nah, man, I think you supposed to tell a man. I think that show who, you know, how you rocking by letting a man know that. Yeah, that's man, that's beautiful, that's man. Dope, if I put man. some inspiration in you, man, let me know, man, because that's oh, what I really? do it for. You dig? So but, I want to inspire. Well, people. Hell, I'm inspired by you the way you jumping out these damn new vehicles every time in different cities and states, oh, all yeah. in LA, yeah. all in Florida, yeah. all in San Diego. And go continue. And I'm like, this nigga jumping out and he talking that talk and walking that walk. Yeah, and that's I want to inspire That was the city, reason man. I wanted you to come on the show because well, these niggas need to see this I'm here. because this is the way we do it in the South. Yeah. Oh, most you know definitely, I mean? man. Most and definitely. It gets real fly. And I'm going to ask you to come back, too. Yeah, oh, we're so I'm a, I'm, yeah I'm going to try to get you to come back. Because these niggas need to continue to see this greatness, Oh, nigga. most definitely. In you know what I'm talking way. about? So thank you for coming on the show, it's man. It's all love, Say, baby. look out, man. We love you, man. Holla to fly. It's all love. And, man, anytime, it. man, anytime, you, anytime you're in the city, you got something you promote, man, mm -hmm. you my guy, man. Me and Miss Jamaica, we're going to bring you on the show, man. I appreciate it. Check it, man. No, where's the name Holly from? Uh, them niggas say I took a long time to get dressed, so they started calling me Hollywood. <laughs> hey. so you know, over time, the short I shortened it, Holly. I added the two fly and shit. It's, it's going down. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where yeah, the man. bosses talk. And we fly are. Away.